Welcome to a very special Gundam Battle Operation 2 featuring the Gundam Marine Type. Effectively just a enhanced Aqua GM. This unit is a bit of an oddball, but it comes from the M MSV. Good lord. We're just stacking titles on this thing. But it's an interesting unit, and in its own little entry, it's effectively one that was kind of rushed out, given a Gundam head mostly for Fear Factor. So, in game, it's a 350, and I think it goes up to 400, which is what I got here. Ground capable only general, with a ballistic resistance of 15, the plus ones from the enhancement, a beam resistance of a eh, 6, and a melee resistance of 15. A range strength of 20, a melee strength of 15, a movement speed of 125, and a press gauge of 60. For parts, we have close range of 8, medium of 12, and long of 7. For equipment, it does have a ranged option, but it has the underwater deflection beam rifle. Hoof. It's a heat-based weapon with a decent range and a decent amount of damage. It can be charged to do a bit of a stagger. Or you can go with the Missile Launcher Torpedo, which has not as much range, does okay damage, and eh, it's not bad. But I would probably suggest out of the two to go with the Beam Rifle. It has the Beam Pick which is a very, very small beam dagger. It is, uh, can be a bit deceptive, especially when you're used to the normal Federation downswings. Uh, good luck, you'll, you'll trip over it a little bit. We have the hand anchor, which is effectively uh, the Guff Customs heat rod. Um, it performs about the same, does exactly the same thing, has decent range and decent damage. Then we have the explosive harpoon gun, where you fire uh, decent damaging explosives. Very small uh, radius of effect, though. Um, little harpoons at people. It could be great for adding damage or uh, messing somebody up. For skills, we have leg shock absorber level 2, quick boost level 3, emergency evasion system, Special back buffer because the back is fairly large, level two. High performance balancers, melee combo controller, and aquatic mobile shooting. If you're not familiar with it, when you're doing high speed movement, aka when you're boosting, you can still fire your weapons. My opinions of this suit is it's all right. It's the Federation's guff, effectively. Um, it feels like it. It's the main difference is that it has a beam rifle option and uh, no shield. It's a pretty good unit. It has a lot of capabilities and it can be a pain to fight against. So let's see how it does in the match to come. Hello and welcome to the match everybody. It's had been a bit of a rough patch when I recorded this uh, match and I was having pretty much no luck with teams. Um, I kept getting the teams that think uh, playing chicken was the best way of doing things, and I mean by scattering everywhere. And this is a match right after I dealt with a, I believe, a Japanese player who was teleporting all over the battlefield, so that was fun. So, we're going to start off every Arctic base like it's NASCAR. I hate this map. Can it get redesigned to not be a NASCAR map? But, whatever. So we're going to push up. We see five going up here. So we hold back a second. We catch the Aqua Dominance. With that, we get him in for a swipe. And five is way too damn aggressive. And goes in for an immediate big hit. So I'm going to switch targets. Come in. Drop some on that Guff. Try to get him with this uh, beam pick. But I'm kind of an idiot. Because I don't remember what his melee patterns were. Or reach. So that's a bit of a pain. I'm going to drop over to the Harpoons. Come back in, catch the guff with a couple strikes, watch over to the uh, hand anchor, get a little bit of that in, and manage to dodge. We see four going in, so we're going to come in and try to help by getting a little bit of a damage in there. But he's going to back off, so we back off as well. And I decided I'm going to come in and try to catch this guy, but four hits me in the back 
because of reasons. Yeah. So I'm going to miss a couple times. I'm going to use the uh, little harpoons to finish them off. And then we're going to get taken out ourselves. Thanks, Five. Great teamwork. So we're going to spawn in on base, which got destroyed. We see a couple weakened targets, so we're going to take a shot directly into the Aqua Vengeance's back twice, take him out, and come over and try to get a hand anchor into him, but he's got, got caught. So we'll come over and we'll work over the Guff Custom, take him out. We're going to be leery of number four. Let's turn, face the Aqua, accidentally hit our Gundam. We're going to risk it with a hand anchor, catch him, come over, Catch him with a bean pick and back off a little bit for number three. Come in, shoot him in the legs, and take him out. So we're going to shift over here because we see that four got taken out fighting this guff. Come in, push him off, but he's going to false charge you into there. We'll catch him with a hand anchor. Then we're going to take him out with a double dip. And uh, I, I don't believe this unit is very great in certain situations, but... It can be a menace. So we're going to catch him right in the face there. He shouldn't have played stupid games. And we're going to fire a couple of our harpoons over there. So we see one coming up. We're going to hit him with that. He's going to fall off the very well designed uh, railing up here. <laughs> fire into the guff custom. Not get him with the hand anchor. But that's life. We're going to fire some rounds into the, uh, the normal guff. We're going to miss him with the melee because I keep underestimating the range of it. We're going to get shot by one of those scummy leg breaker... Uh, I forget what they're called. Uh, GM snipers, which is always fun. We're going to get our legs broken in just a second because our raid is so good. He's taking such good care of that unit yeah ah good time so we're gonna switch over take a beam shot over here get a little bit of that extra damage in not quite be able to throw that next shot in but our legs broken so we're gonna try to use the cover as best we can to offer what support we can seems like the sniper has moved on to do other things so we're gonna try to push up here miss our shot we're gonna wait a second and we're gonna catch him right there and take him out so we even out our point toss hold our shot and get killed by tradition yay second death so we're gonna drop in here and get a little bit of uh, fire support going it probably will not kill anyone to be perfectly honest. We're gonna wait a second and see what two is doing. I think he was the next to most useless person in this team. Um, great job right there, number two. You're doing you're doing great. And we're gonna come in. We're gonna pop a shot directly into that Guff's face. He's going to bail out. We're gonna throw a couple of explosive harpoons down his way. Miss with our beam shot. Take him out there. Then we're gonna switch over to try to help number four. Now I was a little bit nervous because I saw two guys off to my left. And I didn't necessarily want to instantly get in there. So I'm gonna miss with my hand anchor, but they're gonna hard knock each other. I'm gonna come in, catch him with the down strike, and at least get some extra damage in on him. I'm gonna back off because I see the artillery gonna come in. So I'm going to come over here trying to keep them in the spot or at least be able to act as backup for four even though you know, we have our problems. Fire into the Aqua to help take him out. I'm going to switch over to targets. This Guff does not care about my existence. He wants number four bad. We're going to fire that beam shot into him. Go right into the down strike. Move out of the way. Hand anchor him while number four gives him a little bit of that tentacle tentacle. And he ignores me again, goes straight for four, catches me with his hot wire, and then gets tentacled. So we're in the lead, but that's not going to remain. Um, we could have actually used number three, you know, being in a suit, not flying around, but, you know, whatever, life happens. So I'm going to come over here. I'm in mostly good shape. 
Um, number five's coming this direction. And we're going to try to, as best as we can, uh, get in and help with these guys. But we're not. I'm not sure who to shift to. So I see what's going on here. I fire that into the guff, but he doesn't care. And we're going to try to throw some fire support down, but it's a little too late. We drop down a little too long. He's going to be able to push directly through the hand anchor. And then he's going to catch me with the wire when it should have had nothing to, no ability to catch me. Yeah, that, that seems legit. And then he's going to push for the hand anchor again. We're going to do this back to him. But we're going to have to maneuver here, catch him with the melee, but he's going to out-prioritize us, kill us, and it's all pointless. Definitely no bullshit on that. Mm-mm. Not at all. So we're not going to cut here because the match is over. Let's see how we did. Is this unit really all that? It's definitely not a Gundam, I'll tell you that. But there's our sadness pose. And no board spots. Number four went for that. But second place, thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.